Okay, so let's explore education.com premium. So what this does is it allows you to add up to 35 kids in the class and you at any time can enter and you can look at your students in your class. There's your list and they you can even lock them from changing different grades but I have mine unlocked because I feel like if they want to do uh, something more than they can. And then here you can click the icon and you can change their names, you can change their the little icon that they choose for one of the characters and you also if you want to change the grade level. I keep them on different grade levels and like it says from preschool to eighth grade. Now this is why I think you get the most bang for your buck. Number one, to get it at 50% off, it's worth it, and you can have up to 35 kids in your class. So you have worksheets that they are ready-made, or you can even generate your own worksheets. They, these are printable. They have online games. Then they have guided lessons, which is my favorite. Guided lessons means this is everything you need to teach that lesson. So let's say we're starting our kids off in kindergarten. You can choose if you want to teach reading or math. Usually we stick to reading and writing at the beginning. And then they have these guided lessons. Each one of these lessons is if you click it, they will give you their activities. And right before you do these activities, you can download all of the PDF or worksheets that go with this lesson. So they include coloring, the helmet coloring, the shark information, and the different sharks. And you know, you can easily share in Zoom and have them do that. There's no need to have these kids parents print everything off. But that just goes along with what they were learning in that theme. Another great thing is you can also assign this lesson for the student to do when you are not there. When you hit assign the lesson, create the new assignment, and let's say I'm doing this one for sample. Okay? Uh, it tells them the due date would be the third I'd give them a little more time, but it gives them five days. And you have other options. They can have unlimited times to do the assignment, or you can only allow them one. Also, you can make it mandatory. They cannot play anywhere on the site until their assignment is done. So let's say that this is mandatory. And I will continue. It's going to have me choose my student. These are my lists of students. I will pick. Alina. Let's just do A and save. So what this does now is it has given your student the assignment. They no longer will be allowed to play and let's show you what that means is if I go into the mode which when you are teaching them online and uh, you want to play with them you then enter the class. You can do classroom mode or kid mode. Classroom mode will pull this up and that just tells them which class. I don't bother with that. I just, because I don't have kids multiple in one class. All my kids are separate. So I use what's called kids mode. Now kids mode is I'm going to launch kids mode on my device. Now when I get into kids mode, it gives me the entire class. But they're not together, of course. Now see, everything here is locked. She cannot enter any of these games. She can't go to her stuff. She can't go to the shop. She can't paint. And she can't do any challenges until she finishes her assignment. You click on the assignment and there are five here assignments to do. And then she can do that. Now, you, cannot, you don't have to only do that with guided lessons. Let's get out of here, out of here, and sign out of this, okay? You don't only do this with guided lessons, uh, okay? Oh, this is the clip, this is brainsy. 
going to get out of Brainsy. You can also do that with a worksheet. Now, to search the library, it's very easy. I need, let's say, a kindergarten worksheet for nouns. I look it up. That's a lesson plan. That's a worksheet. Okay. I want to do, and they even have workbooks. These books go for $4.95 each, and you're allowed to download as many books as you like while you're on the site. I don't use the books. I use these. I can now assign this as well as a guided lesson or an interactive story. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. Here it is. Download. Okay. It's a common course. Okay, view, add, assign digitally. This is the one I'm looking for. You want to assign that digitally so your kids don't have to print. So then I'm going over here. I'm clicking assign Div digitally. Just say sample again. And I'm uh, leaving it again. Yes, has to be mandatory. Okay, and then a name is required. Lala. Okay, there you go. Mm -hmm. That's the name. Continue. And let's assign this to somebody different. And save. Now, they have their own access to the assignment. Now let's go back into kids mode. Open. I think I assigned it to him. Check. Yes, he has an assignment. Everything is locked. He can't touch anything. And he has to do this assignment. So they start the assignment. And when they get in, they have access to this board and they can do this. Use these nouns. I like to, and time sake, I like to bake. I like to bake cookies, hello, and then they just click it, but they can type it too. Well, actually, it might be better that way. The only thing I don't like about this uh, is that we have, that you can't correct it, um, but it's still nice to have. My sister eats dessert, uh, eats, and then uh, it helped her make a birthday cake. But it'll make the parents happy and they will feel like it's some form of homework. Or if you want to do these in class with the kids, it also is fun. Okay. And then when they're done, they go to the bottom of the worksheet, which I can't even get into right now because... Okay, let me see. Where, let me just make it smaller. It's smaller, not larger. Um, because I'm recording, I, I just can't seem to drag. I can't drag on any of this. Because usually you can go to the bottom. <laughs> oh, let me get out of it. That might help. Okay. And then hit okay. I've done. It, nice. And they earn the 50 coins and they can go next to their next assignment if they want. And what I want to, for you to explore too is this is what the kids get to play in. They can choose between math, reading, and typing. Uh, then they have their own challenges. There's a shop. He has 178 coins, painting, and my stuff. So the shop goes with the painting. When you open the painting, let's do a new one. Uh, let's say he has scenes. He only has one, but he wants to buy another. He can buy another scene, and if I buy another scene, he might get mad because those are his coins. Or he can buy a sticker. Stickers also cost money. They can have choices of different types of stickers. So they have to earn each one. And let's say uh, there's different tools. He can get a rainbow brush or a brush like this, and there's different scenes, but I'm not going to destroy that right now. And then he has his own that he's already bought on his own, 
and earn the stickers. And what that allows him to do is that if he wants to do his scene here, let's say we do this one, and then he wants to add stickers, he can add stickers as many as he wants. He just drags them and flowers. And if he wants to paint the color in, then they grab it. And this is some of my favorite. This actually is kind of quite cool. You just spray paint, then you have those paint brushes. Then if you want to color with the crayon, and if you mess up. So that's kind of what, and then they can save that picture. You know, they have a chance to erase everything. And this also gives him more colors here. So we can undo everything. So I hope you uh, enjoy. And if you have any other questions about education.com, just let me know. But there's plenty of things to do here, and this is really a great one to start with. Uh, it's uh, I recommend it. I have this in one of my arsenals of curriculums that I use. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.